Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at another example of problem solving in action using the method of make a table. So first, let's read through our question. Sarah has $1.45 in all dimes and quarters. She has 10 coins in total. How many of each type of coin does she have? First, we want to make sure that we understand the problem. So, we know that Sarah has some quarters and some dimes. We know that quarters are worth 25 cents and dimes are worth 10 cents. We also know that she has a total of $1.45. Using that information, let's devise a plan. Here, we could use the strategy of make a table to organize our thoughts and help us find a pattern. All right, so let's jump into making a table. What we might wanna know here or play around with is the number of quarters that she has, the number of dimes that she has, and then with those combinations, what would that mean about the total amount of money she has? Now, knowing that she has 10 coins in total, we need to make sure that the number of quarters and the number of dimes adds up to 10. So we might start with, what if she has zero quarters? and 10 dimes. Well, how much would that make? Since she would have zero 25 cent quarters and 10 10 cent dimes, 10 times 10 cents gives her $1. So we know that that combination does not work. Next, we could try, what if she has one quarter and nine dimes for her total of 10 co coins? Then she would have one 25 cent quarter and nine 10 cent dimes for a total of $1.15. Still not the $1.45 that she needs, so if we continue this pattern, we can see that two quarters and eight dimes doesn't quite work, but now we might start to see what we think is a pattern emerging. So when we increased from zero to one quarter, we went from $1 to $1.15. And when we went from one quarter to two quarters, we went from $1.15 to $1.30. So, so far at least, as we change the number of quarters and dimes, we seem to be increasing our total amount by 15 cents. Let's see if that pattern holds. If so, we should have that three quarters and seven dimes gives us, there it is, our total of $1.45. So Sarah has three quarters and seven dimes. Okay, so before we end, let's think about looking back. Did we understand the question we were asked? Was making a table here an appropriate strategy? And did we achieve a correct answer? All right, guys, that does it for this video on problem solving strategy, making a table. To see more of these, we'll catch you in the next video.